Hello everyone! Oh, that was a stretchy stretchy there, Stella. And welcome back to Spirit Spiritfarer. In the last one we were told we were the new Spirit Spiritfarer and we have already found our first lost soul who seems to know us. At least she, we knew her by name of Gwen and she seems to know us and Daffodil too. So... And other than that we also hijacked a new ship. Because Cherion said that his ship would not last for long, and it did not. It did certainly not. So let's go and talk to her. And I also, in the mean between, or what you call it, found my controller, and it's so much more nice to sit with. <laughs> Maybe it's just a personal pre uh, preference, but eh, let's see. Oh no. What a mess. Reminds me of Aunt Petunia's old yard. Oh, but, oh, she suddenly became posh. <laughs> On news. A beautiful, unorganized testament to someone's laziness. Hmm. Her vital impossibility to get rid of anything. At any rate, we should do something about this. Oh, my dust allergies will be back. Oh dear, Gwen. Are you going to help us with it, or do you just expect us to do it? <laughs> Let me think. Hmm. There's only one way to clean this up. You have to meet Albert. Hmm. He's the local uh, shipwright. And his jokes are garbage. <laughs> but he's the only one who can fix your boat. Hmm. We should head to Albert's shipyard then. You must be wondering how to make the ship move. Mm. It's really easily, actually. There, let me give you the, this key I found on the island. It will unlock that cabin in the back. Mm. You should find a map projector in there. How do I know all this? Well, I was planning an escape, remember? Yeah. And you know me. I plan things meticulously. Very meticulously. <laughs> ah, go open up that cabin, Stiller. And the reason why I laughed is because I just said very meticulously for funsies and she actually said it. Mm. Oh dear. The map projector should be simple enough to use and you just have to go to Elba's shipyard. Alright. We got a key! So let's go in and... Which button to press those active quests? Start? No, that's definitely not start, so request. Why? Yeah! No, that's inventory. But there's the key. Okay, so how? B? No. Select? Select! Yes, okay, cool. Just getting accustomed to using a uh, Xbox 360 controller again on the PC, because I haven't done that for a while. You just learn the controls back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. There we go. And here we are. Is it just me or did they add the pointers to make it easier? Because in uh, in the old days of it coming out to Switch, like within the first week of com com being released on Switch, it did not have this as far as I remember. However, let's see if we can find Alba's shipyard. Oh, the rep map increased. It's also a sailing game, by the way, guys. If you hadn't already <laughs> figured that out with being a spirit fire, we have to sail around a lot. I don't mind that at all, but we have to go and go to Alba's shipyard and see if he can fix it up for us. Hopefully he doesn't ask money, because I don't think we have any. Oh, Stella. Yes, Gwen? Mm. As I understand, the ship is powered by your Everlight. 
That is how it cruises on the ocean and reveals the stray spirits. It also explains why I couldn't do anything by myself. You must admit, it's, it's quite fascinating. Look, I know you must feel overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. Charion, the Evador, the spirit favors, this place, this boat, me being here. It's a lot. You must be wondering what's going on. Mm -hmm. Truth to be told, I really don't know either. But I'm here for you. I will do my best to help you and try to make sense of it all. Mm. As I said earlier, I wanted to leave by myself, but somehow I just couldn't. Now that I see you, I think I know why. I will give you some space for now. Don't hesitate to explore this ship. Mm. You can even give that fishing rod a try. The world is your oyster. Actually, we have some oysters, right? Uh, it, it, it's we just jump in the water. <laughs> By the way, look at Daffodil. <laughs> Does not want to touch the water. Are these oysters or empty shells? I can never remember. Empty shells. They are also good because you actually have to use them for something at some point. So we can just... Let's clean up the boat from the outside. Yes, let's do that. Whee! Oh no, we actually have to go in the boat. Up in the boat! Come on. You can do it, Stella. Up in the boat. Eh, eh. <laughs> Come on! Come on, girl, you can do it. <laughs> okay, later then. Is this a fine little bunch of mussels right there? Ugh. Oh well. Should we give this little fishy fishy thing a try now that she said we should? Just to get the controls in on that, because fish is actually a very easy way to um, get food to um, the characters. Oh, that's not a fish, is it? No, that's a shoe. Because usually the fish will be acting a little different in the water, as far as I remember. Let's see. Ooh. It will get red at some point, at least. There we go. Oh, herrings does not. But fish will get harder and harder to catch. And um, that's just how it will be. Albert Shipyard discovered. It's a discovering game. We have to go around and find everything. Which is going to be so much fun, I think. I, I, I do believe this is going to be a fun game to play with you guys. Even though it might touch on some heavy subjects and we have to help a lot of spirits through their their requests maybe some traumas something of the sort but it's i would say it's shown in a calm easy to go manner so i'll be looking forward to playing this with you guys now head down to albert shipyard and upgrade your blueprint station what blueprint station did we have one even it's the only way to clear this clutter. Oh, not at all. I'm curious about what all it's made of. Mm -hmm. Considering the smell, I would say at least seven different types of dirt and dust. Alrighty then. What do you mean with upgrading our blueprint? I know it's supposed to be here. No blueprint to be had. And there's actually something I wanted to look at before we go to Albert's shipyard here, because I have never actually explored the ship before upgrading it. Oh, you can sit on it. <laughs> you can sit on the couch. Okay, that's funny. Uh, is there any more you can interact with? Not really. And how does it look in here before the whole thing is upgraded? I'm also very curious. Oh, this just actually looks as it should look. Okay. Oh, okay. It's <laughs> a little disappointed there, sorry. <laughs> I expected it to be a clutter as well. And you go like, oh, we will we will make it better. Oh, here, young lassie. Welcome to my ship, ma yard, young traveler. Here, my prize is our customer's best friend. 
I'm Albert. Been in business of shipbuilding for ages. Ah, should I assume you are the new spirit fairer? Well, of course you are. Anyway, you have been able to start the ship and bring it here after all. Gwyn was right to the point towards you, my... Uh, Gwyn was right to point you towards my humble enterprise. Ha! Let me see what you have here. Nice little dinghy. Funny how it looks exactly like the one I built some time ago and stored it on my old shipyard. Oh. Did we steal his ship? <laughs> See, Tyrion was unhappy about his gloomy and dark arc. Actually, he was always complaining about everything. But the customer is always right. So I built him a new and better one. Of course, he would never abandon his precious boat. Old habits die hard, they say. But don't worry, you can keep this one. <laughs> Let's just call this a loan. And let you and let me tell you something. You know we always joke about the construction here. Don't worry. We're still working on it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he, he's the, he is the father of puns in this game. So every time you find a new traveler, I call them terror or spirits, whatever. If you come here and you find a new spirit or whatever, he will have some odd jokes going on. And you will come to him ever so often because you do need upgrades. <laughs> so just to say, you're going to be around Albert quite a, while, quite a bit, actually. Anyway... With a little love, this bird will replenish, be replenished again. But first thing, you need a proper blueprint table. Since it's your lucky day, I'm feeling generous. I will offer it to you. Free of charge. Mind you, it's a bit... It's just a bit of bare bones in terms of functionality. But the subsequent upgrades will come at such a small price you want to buy them almost immediately. And uh, uh, some of them yes, some of them no. <laughs> Simply direct me to upgrade the ship. Okay, so hello. Can we can we talk about the upgrades, sir? I will also. Oh, we can't actually got a, get a mailbox. I wanted a mailbox. I wanted this so bad. Oh well. We can get a guest house, a garden, a field, and a kitchen. Well, bare essentials. We can always use those. So let's go for them. There we go. There you go. You'll be able to build and edit your buildings on your boat. What a treat. But if you really want to upgrade your boat size and in pleasure, I'm your guy. Come back when you feel your boat is getting too crowded. Cheers! I like Albert. I really like the characters in the game, even though, it, again, the the base the base of the game is kind of uh, say goodbye or come to conclusion of the things. The whole in between of the parts is really fun. <laughs> I really like the game. So, oh, finally, oh, the clutter is still here. I'm sorry. I thought the clutter was should be gone. Oh well. Oh, good. Albert gave it to you for free? And he said he loaned the ship to you? Mm. Ominous. Hard to know what he has in mind, but it doesn't sound 
reassuring. Anyway, let's focus on the task at hand for now. Cleaning up the deck. You can go to your new blueprint table above your cabin and select to move option. In it, you'll be able to remove any building and get rid uh, and get back resources. Oh, we might get resources for this. That would be lovely. Mm -hmm. Go for it. I'll wait but down here. All right, let's go up here then. Hello. Yeah, enter the edit menu. We can go with select. And let's go with salvage. And what do we get? Maple log, empty bottle, shoe, and old carpet. That's actually not bad items at all. Some of them can be sold and some of them you can use for buildings. So that's not bad. So let's do that. And you can see this little area here is what you can build on in the size of ship we currently have, which is a nice beginner ship. Very nice beginner ship. Alrighty then, let's go and talk to Gwen once again. <laughs> it rhymed. You did a wonderful job, Stella. And the good news is that you have enough resources to add a guest house to your ship. A necessity immediately Eminently. Mm. Newly welcome spirits such as myself will have a temporary place to relax and sleep. Well, sleep, not really. I can tell you for sure had that no one will be thrilled to spend more than one night in there. Hi. But it beats sleeping on the deck. The stars are pretty. But the wood is stiff, and the humidity is hard to tolerate. I will leave it to you. I will leave it. I will leave it you. To, I will leave it you to it. Have fun, dear. Yes, that's all, well, Captain. Aye, aye, Captain. Let's build. And let's um. Let's actually build the guest house and none of the other stuff because <laughs> I think she might get mad <laughs> if we don't. So, should we set it near the... Um, oh no, this is kind of like a... <laughs> this is not a, like a customizer, and I, I like customizing stuff. So, should we set it near us, or should we set it near the... Um, near the front of the ship, so they can go out and view the... F and enjoy the view. We should set it so they will enjoy the view! Can we actually also build a... Uh... No, we can't build anything else. So, there we go. Okay. Hello? Do you like it? Is it acceptable? Very nice. Yay! <laughs> she liked it. <laughs> this guest house, guest house is very pretty. It has your touch. Are you talking about the star? <laughs> nice work, as usual. Mm. Now, at last, I have to place to sit down and enjoy the view. Oh, wait. Mm. What's going on? Something else is happening. Mm. Ah, I should have expected this. I'm actually hungry. Mm. Very hungry. You know how a terrible cook I am. But I remember you being absolutely fantastic at it. Mm. And you might have fished a few fishes already. Top of this, I really can't eat an entire raw fish. I could try for sure, but I would probably choke on the fish bone and never survive. Mm. And that's not how you want me to go. <laughs> as it's, as absurd as it sounds. Oh, it has become night time, so we can't even travel <laughs> right now. Okay, there's one time at night where the whole boat won't move because apparently we need daylight to do so. But it doesn't matter because we're in tutorials. 
So you should keep on using this blueprint table of yours and build a kitchen aboard. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I've seen the plans for it in there. Mm -hmm. As well as the necessary resources. Damn. You require bright jelly. Mm -hmm. And there's only one way to get some. I... Mm -hmm. Look, I should have told you when I first met you here. Something scares the hell out of me. Mm -hmm. The dark prisons. And even I cower from it. A void that swallows all, light included. It can take many forms, and for me, it always, it is always jellyfish. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm fully aware of the irony. The bright jelly you need for the kitchen, well, only these jellyfish can provide it for you. So there's no other option. Mm -hmm. I have to face my fears. But you are here. Mm -hmm. And with you, I can do it. They will appear as a dark patch of pure fear on your map. So you can't miss it. Go. I will take some time to prepare myself. Alrighty then. Yeah. Yeah, she's probably already... <laughs> I get cranky when I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm very sorry, Gwen. We probably have to wait until next time with this because it's night time. We can't set sail. So, basically, I'll be ending off here. And until next time, guys, take care and have a fantastic day.